Hello guys, welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. In this video, I will demonstrate you step by step implementation of shared preference change listener, which is an interface. And this interface only listen for any changes in the shared preferences object. Therefore, we can update our UI immediately. Hi, my name is Subhajit and I make videos on Android app development. So if you are new in this channel, then please consider subscribe and hit the like button that encourage me to make more videos. Alright, at this point we have learned to save and retrieve data in shared preferences. If you don't know, watch our previous videos, link will be in this video description. So in this pref config class, we have a total of three methods for saving, retrieving, and removing data from shared preferences. Now let's move on to the main activity.java and in this class we will implement on shared preference change listener first because we need to update our UI in this activity. So let's implement it step by step. Now here we have to add the interface. So implements shared preferences dot on shared preference change listener. Then press alt enter and choose implement methods then simply select on shared preference change method then ok now in this on shared preference changed method we have a shared preference object and a key so the preference object will listen for any changes in the preference and the key is our preferences key which will be changed added or removed now we will check if key dot equals and here we have to pass a preferences key which I have defined in the pref config class and let's make this key public to access it from outside of this class now go back to the main activity and here simply type pref config dot pref total key so if the key equals to pref total key then only update the total value in the text view but for this project we will update the counter value first so counter equal to pref config dot total load from pref and pass this for the context next we need to populate the counter value in the text view so txt total dot set text and your total is counter now we don't need to set any text in button add on click and in bu button sub on click so let's just remove or simply comment this line now whenever we change the value in set preferences object this on set preference change method will be invoked every time and using this key we can update our specific ui now the final step for registering and unregistering the set preferences object so in our pref config class we will write two methods one for register the preference object and the other one for unregister that object so public static void and I name it register pref then context context and we also have to take another argument for the interface so set preferences dot on set preference change listener and name it listener now let's create a set preferences object so set preferences then the object name called pref equal to context dot get set preferences and inside this parenthesis we have to pass preference name and context dot mode private now simply call pref dot register on set preference change listener and pass the listener and that's it for register a set preferences object now we have to write another method for unregistering that object so I'll simply copy this register pref method and paste here. Now let's change the method name to unregister pref and here we have to call pref dot unregister on set preference change listener. 
And that's all for registering and unregistering a set preferences object. All right, now we have to call these two methods from the main activity dot Java, and we have to override two activity lifecycle methods on start and on destroy. So now let's override them one by one on start and on destroy. Now inside on start we will call pref config dot register pref and pass this for the context then pass this again for the listener lastly inside on destroy method we will call pref config dot unregister pref then pass this for the context and pass this for the listener now let's try to run this app in my android device as you can see app is running now let's increment some value as you can see counter value is updating now decrement some value now let's press the reset preferences button and text view is updated immediately that's perfect because of on set preference change listener so guys this is how we should implement on set preference change listener if you still have any questions or suggestions please drop your message in the comment box and if you think you have learned something new today hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe for more events that's all for now guys see you soon in my next upcoming video thanks for listening